Hi, in this video of code G, uh, we are going to be starting with mathematical expectation. So, in mathematical expectation, um, you know, it's a concept that you must be familiar with. Expectation as a thing must have been something you would have heard of. In case you haven't, um, it's simple enough. So, expectation is simply, you know, uh, mean in a sense, right? So, in case of a random variable, um, if you wanted to define the expectation of x, x being the random variable, you would say that it is summation fi xi by n, which is to say that summation, the frequency with which x takes the value xi, um, and you know, this is summed over all i, um, fi xi by n. So, this would look something like x1 into f of x1 plus x2 into f of x2 plus and so on divided by n so here you know essentially what's happening is that f of xi is precisely the probability that x takes the value xi okay so um In case of a discrete random variable, okay, the way you define expectation of x is equal to summation over n xn into f of xn. For a continuous random variable, you would define it as integral over all values of x xn into f of xn dx, right? So the only difference being the summation versus the integral, which is quite obvious, right? Okay, so let's take a question. Let x be a random variable with p m f. This in itself should tell you that we are dealing with a discrete random variable equal to 1 upon x into x plus 1. If x is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Um, and 0 otherwise. Now you are asked to find the expectation of x. Okay, so how would you define it? You would say, okay, expectation of x is summation over all x, x into f of x. So that is equal to summation over all x, x into um, 1 upon x into x plus 1. So, which is going to be, so you just cancel out the x, this is, you know, summation over x. 1 upon x plus 1 this is equal to 1 upon you know so this would basically be 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 and so on and so forth and that would be a p series with the value infinity because p would be greater than 1 right so that's how you would calculate the expectation in this case another question could be something like let x be a random variable f of x is equal to 2x if x lies between 0 and 1 and it is equal to 0 otherwise. So you can see that this is a PDF because it's defined over a range, right? And that means we're dealing with a continuous random variable. So in this case, f of x is going to be, um, you know, since f of x is given, the expectation of x is just going to be equal to integral over x, 2x, dx so 2x is the or this thing and x into 2x basically right so that would be integral over x 2x square dx which is equal to 2 integral of x square dx um, and over x meaning x lies between 0 and 1 so that would just be 2 into x cube upon 3 0 to 1 2 into 1 upon 3 minus 0 so 2 by 3 is your expected value of x in this case <coughs> let's take another question so let x be a random variable following the probability function 
which looks something like this again excuse my terrible terrible drawing but i'm going to try to make it as uh, you know, logical as possible so x equals x probability x equals x minus 3 6 9 1 by 6 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 these are your three um, values that x takes and the probabilities associated with them now the expected value of x in this case is going to be equal to minus 3 into 1 by 6 plus 6 into 1 upon 2 plus 9 into 1 upon 3. So that's just equal to minus 1 upon 2 plus 3 plus 3. Right? So that's just equal to 6 minus 1 upon 2 which is equal to 11 upon 2. Now the next part of this question asks you what is the expectation of x square that is simply going to be equal to summation x squared into f of x dx right so that is going to be 1 by 6 into 9 plus 1 by 2 into 36 plus 1 by 3 into 81 that is 1.5 plus 18 plus 27 which is equal to 46.5 the third part asks you expectation of 1 upon x again that is just summation over x 1 by x f of x which is equal to minus 1 by 3 into 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 6 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 9 into 1 by 3 that is equal to minus 1 upon 18 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 27 that would come out to um, some number <laughs> uh, even I haven't calculated it so you know go ahead and try to do it so okay the fourth part asks you expectation of 2x plus 1 squared which is equal to again summation over x 2x plus 1 squared p of x or whatever f of x. So this can be solved in two ways. One is that you open this expression up inside the bracket right and you talk about um, each of these separately. Or you could just, you know, substitute the values of x and, you know, calculate it accordingly. Whatever way you do it, the answer that you should get is, is going to be equal to um, 209. Okay. So, I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to ask you to go ahead and do it. Now, <coughs> the last uh, part of this actually asks you to calculate the variance of x okay for the variance what are we going to do variance is simply expectation of x minus expectation of so expectation of x minus e of x whole squared right this is the variance formula this is something you guys are all familiar with right so v of x is equal to expectation of x minus e of x whole squared so that can be written as expectation x squared plus e of x squared minus 2x e of x right so that's going to be expectation of x squared plus since expectation of x is going to be a constant number right the expectation of a constant number is just the constant itself so this remains as is you can come out of the expectation as is minus 2 expectation of x again comes out as a constant and this expectation gets attached to this x so this and this right and you would have expectation of x again so that would just be expectation of x squared expectation of x plus expectation of x whole squared minus 2 expectation of x whole squared so that's just going to be expectation of x squared sorry expectation of x squared minus expectation of x whole square right now
now you know that expectation of x squared you calculated as what is x point five and right minus expectation of x was uh, eleven by two so eleven upon two squared that is just forty six point five minus um, one twenty one by four and uh, you know another way of looking at this would be so essentially the answer you should get is something like 36.25 okay all right so that's it that's where i'm going to stop this video in the next video we're going to be looking at properties of expectation um and you know this may seem like a very easy topic which it is but um it is something that is extensively you know um, repetitive in the sense that you would be expected to calculate the expectation in a lot of places you keep encountering this and it's very important to kind of remember and not mess up what goes inside the expectation what comes out so that is why I spend um, you know the next one video again just looking at expectation and we're going to be doing the same thing for variance covariance uh, and correlation as well um, after this we would be ready to kind of attack the individual distributions so um, yeah that's it thank you